Histoplasmosis is the name for an infection caused by a fungus known as Histoplasma capsulatum. The fungus lives in the environment, particularly in soil or other materials that contain large amounts of bird or bat droppings. The fungus can be found in many parts of the world and is most common in the United States in the central and eastern states. However, outbreaks have also occurred in other areas, such as Puerto Rico. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that histoplasma spores circulate in the air after contaminated soil is disturbed. When people breathe in the spores, they are at risk of developing histoplasmosis. After the spores enter the lungs, a person's body temperature allows the spores to transform into yeast. The yeast can then travel to the lymph nodes and can spread to other parts of the body through the bloodstream. Fortunately, most people who are exposed to histoplasma never have symptoms and others may have symptoms that go away on their own. According to the CDC, symptoms may appear between 3 and 17 days after exposure and may include fever, cough, fatigue, chills, headache, chest pain, and body aches. The very young, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems are at higher risk for developing severe forms of the infection. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health warns that anyone who works with or near materials contaminated with histoplasma could develop histoplasmosis. Examples of workers listed by NIOSH that could be at risk include those involved with construction, demolition, and renovation work, farmers, landscapers, and bridge workers, to name a few. Outbreaks have also occurred in the workplace with workers not directly involved in the activities that caused the outbreak. About a third of histoplasmosis outbreaks in the U.S. are work-related, reports NIOSH. To protect workers, building occupants, and the public, there are ways to test the environment for the presence of histoplasma. There are also elimination and engineering controls, administrative controls, and the use of personal protective equipment to mitigate exposure risks. These are just a few of the many things to know about histoplasmosis and histoplasma. To learn more about this or other infection control, indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.